That's rough, man. But hey, at least she just dumped you. When Emily broke up with me, I was devastated. Emily? Yeah, she works at the hoagie shop, remember? I didn't realize you guys were that serious. We weren't, but she used to give me free hoagies. And now I'm not even allowed within 500 feet of the store. How's Kat? He was my best friend in high school. My only friend, really. But then he moves, he doesn't call or text for three years. Is that normal? Are you talking to me? We've only ever been just friends. Didn't you take her to prom, though? Yeah, but it wasn't like that. Trust me, I wanted it to be like that. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was really funny that the only girl that would go out with you was the exchange student. She wasn't an exchange student. Her family moved here. Really? You didn't notice she didn't move back after a month? Yeah, I just thought that she came to love America's healthcare system. Guys are weird like that. I mean, my brother moved across the country, and I didn't hear from him for months at a time. I mean, that was my brother. So what's different now? How do you avoid getting stuck in the friend zone again? My mistake before was never making a move. You know, it was right place, wrong time. But now, it's the right time though. Both single, she... Funny. I mean, I get his jokes. We always had kind of similar humor. You could say we always had this great... Chemistry. It's just always been there. It's like we... Understand each other. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I wouldn't have to say, like, a word, and he knew exactly what I was thinking. Or feeling. So yeah, I'm excited. Take our relationship to the next level, where it's always been meant to go. Tonight... And I finally get my best friend back. I don't know how you do it, but this is the best part of my day. Thanks. It's actually more complicated than it looks. What time you get off? Uh, actually, my shift is over now. I got like this ultimate frisbee thing going. I mean, you can come watch and bear. Actually, I, mean, it'd be really I great. have I mean, something else going on tonight, but keep the thought. <laughs> How, are doing? How are you? I'm good. Look at you, you look great. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Man, it's been forever. It has been. You ready? Yeah. What do you suppose this guy was thinking when he painted this? Well, art is eternal. Long after the artist is gone, the original intent is lost. So what matters is what you take away from it. So basically you have no idea. No clue. You know, it's nice to finally have someone to take to these things again. Kept trying to drag Alex out, but he would never come out. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, don't be. He was a jerk. Hey, check these out. Are these kind still your favorite? Ah, oh, you know me so well. <laughs> you remember when we took that uh, trip to the Philly Art Museum? Yep, and you were gonna wrap the steps so like Rocky? Yeah, and you thought I was gonna look like an idiot until you realized that's what everyone does there. Yep. Man, that was 10 years ago. Why don't you have anything on display here? I did about two years ago, but they rotate things in and out, and I haven't really painted anything new since. Why? You're so good at it. Two years of art school, couldn't afford to do it anymore. Had to get a full-time job, become a real adult. Do you really want to work at a coffee shop for the rest of your life? No, of course not. I'd rather do something more artistic and creative, but who really gets the career they want anymore? I just think you're just so talented. It'd be a shame to waste it. Thanks. What about you? What are you going to do with that history degree? <sighs> not sure, really. Not in love with the idea of being a teacher. Actually, thinking about law school. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not saying you wouldn't be a good lawyer. You're sharp and Jeopardy smart, but I just feel like you'd be miserable doing it. I'm not opposed to the idea. I just don't think people should get married for the sake of getting married, you know? When I get married, it would have to be to someone that I could have an intelligent conversation with. Yeah. But not necessarily someone who agrees with me on everything. Yeah. I I kind of agree with that. I think you need to find someone that you know, brings out the best in you. Yeah, exactly. Now, you find a guy like that, point him out to me. How long can you stick around? Uh, just till Ian gets here, and then I gotta take the train back in the morning. Sucks. It's been really fun catching up with you. I know. Honestly, it has been a highlight of my year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I thought I... 
I'm sorry. I just thought. Listen, Greg, I know we're both in a sort of <clears throat> vulnerable place right now, but I think that would have been a mistake. I know. I'm sorry. I. God. I ruined the evening. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, no. It's cool. You didn't. It's fine. Um, it's fine. You want anything to drink? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks. Why would it have been a mistake? Because you're my friend and I wouldn't want to jeopardize our friendship. But if two people are right for each other... Greg, I never really thought of you that way. You're my friend, so... Well, how could you not? We're perfect for each other. I mean, the last three boyfriends you had cheated on you. And I was there to pick up the pieces every time. I sat there all those years while you talked about how these guys didn't understand. All while you told me how great a friend I am. That's because you are a great friend. You're my best friend, aren't you? Why is that all you ever see me as? Why is that not good enough? Good enough. Who was the only person to talk to you when you first moved here? Who's the person who constantly tells you how beautiful and smart and how you deserve so much better than what you date? I just always felt eventually you would figure out that I was the guy you were talking about when you were crying because you got cheated on again. How can you possibly be this bad at choosing men you date idiot after idiot all the while sticking me in the friend zone? The friend zone? Are you kidding me? The friend zone? Okay, first of all, how dare you to bring out the past like that? Like this whole time I owe you something for what? You being nice to me? Why do you assume that if you're friends with a girl long enough, she's obligated to date you? Why do you assume that if a girl opens up to you and you let her cry on your shoulder, she owes you something just because you decided to be a decent human being? Why does every guy stick me in a girlfriend zone? The what? The girlfriend zone, Greg. How long have you liked me? Like, liked me, liked me? Pretty much since we first met. Yeah, exactly. You accuse us of sticking guys in the friend zone, but you make every girl a potential girlfriend. Let me tell you something, nobody owes you anything for being nice. And anyone who thinks like that is a sociopath. Greg, I care for you. I do. And I love you as a friend. So how dare you manipulate this relationship that we have just because your fiance dumped you and I'm your fallback. But you're not my fallback. She was. You've always been my first choice. You're delusional. This would never work. I think it would. You don't know that. You can't say that. I'm just gonna wait for Ian outside. Listen, I meant it when I said that seeing you today was a highlight of my year. You can't just make me choose between being your girlfriend and never seeing you again. It's not fair. You gotta... I got it. Rough night? Yeah, you could say that. Can't be as bad as mine. Apparently my internet girlfriend's a 40-year-old man. Wow. But it turns out he's into Magic the Gathering too, so we're gonna play this weekend. Can you hang on? I'm gonna make a phone call. Eh, not take a no for an answer? It's not like that. Hey, Kat. It's Greg. I'm sorry about last night. I'm an idiot, I know. Uh, turns out I'll be back sometime next month. Uh, I'm wondering if you might get together and just hang out. Turns out the real you is just a friend. 